So today we're looking at fixing the slice. We're gonna give you a way of changing your swing plane, your club path, to allow you to stop slicing the ball. Now when you slice the ball, you cut across the golf ball with an open face. Today we're gonna to be working on the reaction to the plane and how we start the plane correctly and how we work on the plane in the way down to create the correct path to hit straight shots or even draw shots if we're lucky enough. If you're new to the channel, please follow or subscribe. I post videos every week, all to help you play better golf. Okay, in order to help us do this video, we're using Golf Airplane, a brand new teaching device out. It basically is inflatable, so it can't damage your club. And it comes in different length inflatables, so you get those also. Uh, if you use my code ADavisGolf while checking out, if you purchase one, then you'll be able to get extra inflatables for free. So how we're going to use it today? Well, basically, we're going to use it to guide our swing. So if I'm an over the topper, I'm going to be bringing the club down across me like so to an out to in path. We're going to use this and do what I call my over and under drill, which is my favorite drill to help change the pattern of movement in slices. So if I take an address position to the target and I try and swing now, I try and get my back swing to go over or outside the tubing and on the way down, bring it inside the tubing. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a plane that'll be more upright in the back swing, shallow more and attack the ball more from the inside and the way down. That's exactly what we're trying to achieve. Now you can also use alignment rods for sure. Beauty about these is obviously because they're inflatable, there's no damage to either the inflatable or to your golf clubs. So you can be a bit braver and a bit safer and we can make this harder or easier depending on the skill level of the player and how much we want to influence you. I try and put the inflatable near enough on your ball to target line. So the backswing has to go back, if anything, slightly too far outside. But on the way down, then you can have a pretty good downswing and not hit the inflatable. If we put it more in, the backswing obviously can still be very good, but the downswing might make us too shallow again, but we can move it around depending on the golfer and what we need to do. The key thing is we're trying to attack the golf ball from the inside path and get the golf club traveling more to the out. If you're a slicer, that is music to your ears. We want to do that as much as you can. Let's try ball. So a little rehearsal. That the loop is what we want to see. And I shot there, beautiful little draw, exactly where I want to see it. And it definitely felt loopy. So we're looking to achieve a kind of swing sequence where it look like this. And the more we exaggerate these movements, the more it's going to help get rid of that slice feel or that slice look to your golf swing. Slice is the most common shot hit in with golfers. Probably I would say 80 to 90% of golfers would slice or fade the ball. Certainly for the golfers I've met over my 24, 25 years of coaching. And I've been around the game for 34 years, which makes me sound very, very old. But I've been around the game a long, long time. And slice is definitely the most common shot. Working on this will help how we sequence your swing. It'll help how you get that shallowing of the club in transition, which is what most golfers want to do anyway. And it'll help you perform better and play better golf. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please click like and share the video. It really helps if you can do that. Also, please, please subscribe and follow by hitting my logo down below. Also ask any questions, comments, and provide feedback if you can down below. It really helps again the channel. It also helps me drive the channel in the direction which I know you're going to want to watch more videos. So thanks for joining me today at the Forest of Arden. Hope to see you back here.